Hey guys, what's happening? Um, just wanted to give you a, a quick update here on to as to what I've been up to the last few weeks here. Uh, a little while ago, I sent you a, a short video of some of the new gear I got, and uh, it took me a while to kind of get things set up and dialed in, and I'm still in that process of dialing in tones and stuff like that, but I'm having a ton of fun with this stuff, and thought I'd give you uh, a quick rundown of what I have and how it's all set up and how I use it. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you is about this new um, Ox, Universal Audio Ox Box that I got because Jason, you seem like you might be kind of interested in that. So I thought I'd do a, just a real quick rundown on how everything is set up and how it all works. And so basically to start with, uh, you have your amplifier and this is the one I bought. It's the Mark Tremonti signature model made by Paul Reed Smith. It's got two channels, a dual, um, a lead channel and a clean channel. And you can kind of set these guys up however you want. The lead obviously is for your heavy tones and then clean has some nice clean stuff. And then the way I have it working is, um, and the way you, you would set it up as well if you decided to go this route is on the back of your amp you're going to have a speaker output jack and you would go out of your speaker jack and into the back of the aux box where it says um, from your amplifier so out of your amp into the aux and the aux does a couple of different things um, the main thing that it does is it's what's called a load box a reactive load box so it, um, it tells your amplifier that there's a, a speaker hooked up to it, even when there's not. Um, you can hook a speaker up, and I'll show you that in a sec. But you'd never want to run a tube amp without um, putting a load on it, and that's what the aux does, because you could damage the amp. So it tells your amp that there's a load on it, and the other thing it does, aside from being a load box, is it's an attenuator. So what the aux allows you to do when you're hooked up to it is to crank your amplifier settings all the way up to 11 on either channel or whichever channel you're using and get those really nice uh, sweep tube amp sounds that you only get when things are, are cranked for whatever reason. And um, you can attenuate that level with the speaker volume. So if you were going to use this um, for like in a practice setting, um, you could go from the amplifier into the aux and then out of this output here, the speaker output into your speaker cabinet and then use these buttons on the front of the aux, the speaker volume button to turn down the overall level of your amplifier. So your amp is cranked, you're getting the sweet sound you, um, from your, your tube amp being cranked um, but the aux is turning the overall volume of the whole thing down so you're not blowing the roof off your house and having the cops show up and and uh, your wife serve you with divorce papers. And then, you know, you can listen to it as loud or as softly as you want by turning up or down the speaker volume. And um, if you want completely silent, you can put this on zero and plug in a set of headphones and listen to your amp in that environment. Just... Uh, um, you know, a cranked up tube amp, <laughs> but listening through it through headphones and, and uh, like I said, not blowing the roof off your house. The other thing you can do with the amp or the aux box is it's got several different outputs. Um, the first two are these line level outputs um, that you can run left and right. And there's also a digital output over here, the RCA version, and then the, I think this is called a Pro Link or something like that for a digital cable to go from the back of the aux into your digital audio workstation or excuse me your um, audio interface um, and so when you whatever output you decide you want to use or both you just uh, go over to your whatever your interface use, you're using is and these are my inputs so I've got two inputs on the back that can each take a line and then I've also got um, an optical input as well so I can take advantage of pretty much all the um, all the outputs that the aux offers and now I can go into um, from you know the aux into my digital audio workstation or excuse me um, <laughs> my um, audio interface 
and then into my digital audio workstation. So that's pretty awesome. Now, when you're doing that and you're not, and you don't have a speaker hooked up to it, um, Aux has a really cool solution for that, which is the software over here. So um, basically what the Aux software is, is a complete recording environment with everything included except your amp, of course. Um, and so basically it's um, giving you a digital emulation of a really nice studio environment with um, a cabinet and two microphones, as well as some room, make, room mics and a whole bunch of effects that you can use to really dial in your sound. Um, Universal Audio has gone through and it's created a whole bunch of different presets for you to start with. Um, I chose this Gravity one just to for demonstration. I assume that it, they mean like a John Mayer setup because if you go through some of these other ones, for copyright reasons, they can't call something you know like a metal like Metallica setup or whatever, but they'll call it like Enter Recto Sandmat, which is obviously you know some sort of nod to um, Metallica, and then you know for the love of Steve, I'm guessing is Stevie Ray Vaughan maybe, and and then you've got like uh, you know have a drink on on me is obviously going to be some sort of ACDC and highway to AC. So anyway, um, you can choose one of these presets. The presets um, load a whole, you know, the room, um, the cabinet, the mics, the room mics, any effects and all that fun stuff. And um, once you, you know, when, once you're hooked up and in here, you can strum some chords. See what they sound like. If you like that you can keep it or if there's something about it that you want to change you can go through and you can select a completely uh, new environment with all kinds of different mics and cabs and room set up or you can go through and individually let's say you, you like the the mic in the room set up but you want a different cabinet you can go through and just change out the cabinet um, if you want some different mic set up you can come in here and change those guys out can flip each mic on its axis. You can pan it. It's got an individual EQ for that for that mic, and you can turn it up or down, solo it, see what that sounds like by itself, or mute it all together. Same thing on this side. You can switch it out to a completely different type of microphone. Got its own EQ. You can turn these on and off, or you can go into them and adjust them. And then there's a master EQ or a master effect section as well. Um, you can turn, you know, you can go in here, adjust things individually. They do have some presets depending on, you know, what kind of tone you might be going for, for the overall EQ, compressor section as well, a delay and a reverb. And, um, when I'm recording into my DAW, these things are all off and all I want to do is just get like a nice, you know, if I'm going for my clean sound, I just want a nice regular old clean sound from the end of the mics. Nice and dry and then I'll go through in my digital audio workstation and add effects. The only thing I'm probably using here is maybe a little EQ and a little bit of compression on a clean tone just so I don't hit the mic, uh, hit the strings too hard. And it'll kind of even things out and level those out which is kind of nice. But you have to be careful because when you are recording, if any of these things are turned on, it will record. Um, so your sound will have reverb on it and you won't be able to change it later. So uh, one thing to think about. Um, so that's how the, the aux works. Um, right now it is on sale. It's about 300 bucks off. And if you have a Sweetwater card, you can get it for 25 bucks a month for four months, for 48 months. So that's four years of free money if you want to do that. If you don't want to put down that kind of cash, um, there is a different one that's pretty awesome. I've read a bunch of great reviews on and, and a lot of guy, a lot of cool guys are using it. Um, 
called the Captor X. There's a couple different versions of those depending on what ohm your amp is. Um, this new one, I don't know why it's another 99 bucks. I think it's got, it, it does come with a whole bunch of software very similar to this to where you can pick and choose your, your mics and your cabinets and your rooms and all that fun stuff. And I think this new one has a, a bunch more of those. Um, whereas like this one here comes with a little bit more stripped down version of that software, but I don't think that's a big deal. And this is, uh, you know, less than half the, half the price of the aux right now. And <clears throat> like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good reviews on this guy. So that's another option too. It's got, you know, the same kind of setup as the aux, just not as many bells and whistles, um, same sort of outputs and stuff. You might need some XLR cables, XLR to TRS on these guys for your outputs. But other than that, you should be should have enough of everything. Uh, you should already have the stuff you would need to, to run that. So anyway, that's what I got going on. I wanted to play some heavy tones for you, but for some reason, whenever I do that, it clips the software that I'm using to record this uh my screen and my audio and everything and uh i've had to re-record this several times because it just sounds horrible and i don't want to put you through that but i will be recording some stuff and uh some tones and getting it sent off um in the meantime if i don't talk to you have a happy thanksgiving and i'm sure between now and the holidays we'll we'll have a chat we'll have a chance to chat with each other but um anyway uh have fun with what you got if you want to so, um, you know, get into something like this and you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and otherwise, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.